Hi guys, how's it going? Hey! Thank you for coming out. My name is Griffin William Sherry. These are my friends. We're gonna play some songs for you tonight, if that's okay. Thanks for braving the weather, by the way. My house is getting two feet of snow right now, so. Did it really make it I'm up happy to be here where it rains. It made it up that far? Oh, man. It's not stopping. It's not stopping until like 2 a.m., so. guys doing? Good. Thank you for being here. Tonight's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. So We're going to play a lot of new music. We're going to play a bunch of old music, too. So, Was anyone here for the last show on stage one? Yes. Just me and an acoustic guitar? Sounds a little different. I'm happy to have my friends up here tonight with me. That's us. That's us, yeah. Well, I'll introduce them as the show goes on. Don't worry. Friends. They're going to be name. <laughs> I could just keep it nameless friends, actually. <laughs> but. That was pretty funny. <laughs> We're going to play a song that is a, uh, came out in the last Ghost of Paul Revere record. Uh, a song that I really love. It's called uh, Letters from the War of Love and Loss. I 
Mr. Spencer Albee on the keys and the guitars. Thank you. And that fine hat. Oh, stop it. Well, I got a, a weirdly cool, uh, just an incredible experience last night that we all got to be Spencer's backing band <laughs> in Rockland, Maine. Uh, and it was a wildly fun experience. Uh, and I don't often, never really have had the chance to just like be in the back of a band and just play along with songs and just like be a part of that and not be in front of a microphone and talking to people. Uh, and it was a wildly fun experience and I can't fun. wait to do it again. Yeah, it was just so yeah. much fun. And then, and then we're we consolidating the fleet. So anytime Spencer has a show, we're gonna play. And anytime I have a show, we're gonna play, so. Non-compete. Non-compete. Non -compete. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, I could open for you. You could open for me. We just do it and people will be like, we could just turn around, then turn back. I am more than happy to just to confuse and aid people. Like, Uh, are you ready to start this next song? I am. Yeah. I will start it now. Cool. They keep telling me to roll with the punches Cause that pain is all I know When that river overtakes me I will roll down slow They keep telling me to roll with the punches Cause that pain is all I've known When that river overtakes me I will roll down slow Just singing whoa
white sheets again I traded my hotel for a hospital bed Doctors coming and going Saying it's all in my head You better take it easy, boy Mr. Zach Bentz on the guitar, everybody. Uh, we left uh, Rockland, Maine, at 7:30 this morning, yeah. and and yeah, that was yeah. good. And by I would say was it three? No, no, no. Two. One or two, one, two, one or two, we finally left Maine. <laughs> uh, it was, I was, yes, we were doing some safe driving today. Got rear-ended, lightly. It was a, t it was just a kiss. It was fun. Kiss. It, was like, it, was fun. it was like a, hey. <laughs> Oddly, not the worst snow travel day I've ever had in a van, that's same, for sure. Same, same. Yeah, that would be probably Monarch Pass for you in yes, Colorado, which yes. is like, 
Has anyone ever driven Monarch Pass in Colorado? Don't so do it's like, it. It's, don't do it. Uh, it's, it's like, uh, what, uh, 12,000 feet above? It's a lot. It's a feet. lot with yeah. no guardrails. No. Uh, Thousand foot drop. And it snows all the time, so it's not a lot of fun. Mine was crossing, we were crossing uh, uh, into California from Nevada, and we got caught in like a historic snowstorm in, in California that dumped like, I think by the end of the time we were driving, it, it had already dropped like four feet of snow. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was one of those things where the cops pulled us over and they're like, you need chains. You need to go buy chains, because you will not survive. And we made it, it was Chuck and I, we made it to San Francisco eventually. <laughs> I am the only one that made it through ours, unfortunately. Sole, sole survivor. It was Super Bowl Sunday, I do remember that. This is for Cray Hathaway on the bass, everybody. Local boy. <laughs> McCray's from Connecticut. That's true. That's true. Uh, I grew up in Canton, Connecticut. <laughs> Um, 
McRae's dad owns like the best secondhand shop I've ever been in. It's really good. It's wild. There's wild. There's buttons from uh, presidential hopefuls from the '70s in there, Walter and like crazy Mondale. Walter Mondale. Uh, there's <laughs> my favorite thing was the pair of boots that had the cobra uh, heads on the end of them. Yeah. It did not fit my feet. Otherwise, I would be wearing them <laughs> every day of my life. It's called the Junk Shop in Canton, Connecticut. Hey. Best ones are his labels that just say this old thing. <laughs> uh, I've been working on, uh, last summer I got to go down to Nashville and record a new record, which is really exciting. And we've all been working on another record too, so uh, I'm hoping here soon we get to release the, the music out into the world. We're playing the, the, the label game and doing all the music business stuff that takes way too friggin' long. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a song on the new record. A lot of these songs are going to be on the new record, but uh, this is one called Reflections. tuned my other guitar incorrectly, so I have to tune this guitar just so you know. That's how it goes. You guys still having fun? Thank you for being here, by the way. It really means a lot to me. 
it's nice to still be on tour and playing new songs and having a lot of fun with these boys, so. It is time to meet the drummer. That's Mr. Charlie Gagne back there on the drums. You came to a Ghost of Paul Revere show, you might have recognized him. Was also playing drums in that band. He was, he was. If you haven't figured it out yet, also, uh, Charlie is the, the Chuck is the, the most fun to watch on stage of anybody I've ever played on a stage with. Uh, I love him to death, he's the best, so. <laughs> So ev everyone watch him a lot uh, during watch this song, him. especially hard. Don't watch me. Don't watch me sweat through all of my clothes, please, God. <laughs> You're sweating through my clothes. Yeah. I forgot the ponchos. I'm sorry. We're in a van all day, dude. It's a love song. I was a vagabond, she a beauty queen, man, the best damn thing I'd ever seen. Ain't it easy to call chords at 17? Those days I was lost in dreary visions, thinking she would be my bride. But when I opened up my eyes, she wasn't mine. She wasn't mine. She wasn't mine. My Juliet seems to be the only thing I'll never find all of my days. For I have read the books and cast the spells and wrote the words in oh so many ways. So many ways. So many ways. Except inside of you was a man 25 still in my hand When I saw her dancing square across the water It wasn't beauty karma But fate I did decide For I had told myself our love would last forever Well, forever came and I could not tell Juliet seems to be the only thing I'll never find all of my days. For I have read the books and cast the spells and wrote the words in all oh, so many ways. Maybe I'm
Thank you very much. You guys are so well behaved. Thank you very much. You don't have to be. You can be. I agree. Tuning again. We tune because we care. I tune because I care. So, so I have, uh, before the new record comes out, we have one, one EP out. It's a live EP uh, that recorded our, one of our favorite spots in the world, Sun Tiki, which is a small uh, venue in Portland. And uh, just the story behind it is that the week before uh, Ghost was playing their last show ever, uh, I had been writing all these tunes. Um, and I asked everybody except for Zach. Uh, Zach joined the band a little later. But uh, I asked them all to, uh, hey, you want to spend a Sunday learning uh, a set of songs and then play it on Monday uh, and have a pop-up show that we're not going to tell anybody about until Monday. And uh, they all agreed. And we showed up Monday and we played for a packed house in Portland, uh, a secret show, and we recorded the whole thing. So the live EP that's out there is this band's very first show ever, uh, which is incredible that it, it turned out so well. And that's a, a uh, you know, just a salute to how good everybody is on the stage, which I, I, is a privilege for me to be up here playing with everybody. So I'll be out after the show selling merch. Come say hi to the thing, you know. You can also stream it on Spotify and stuff until the new record comes out. Get that studio magic. But this song is on that EP. This is a long thing to get to it. This song is on that EP. It's called Lost Cause. <laughs> I wrote this next song about my fiance. Thanks. Uh, she gets very embarrassed every time I play it. Uh, and every time I call it out. So when I go to a city that's not near us, I get to tell the whole story. Uh, and one day she just kind of was like, well, you've never written me a love song. And I was like, well, you know, fair, but also untrue. <laughs> She's like, you always write sad love songs. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of my thing. I just like, 
I like a sad love song. Uh, so she challenged me to write a love song that was not sad, and I wrote, I wrote this one, which is still actually, I would say, 50-50 sad. It's not yeah. like, it's happy I didn't for quite you. get there. It's, it's happy for me. For you. Yeah. This is basically, this is like your, your feeling groovy. This is very... <laughs> Happy you know, as it gets, do, 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 do. <laughs> This is his version of that. Feeling groovy. It's happy for me. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't that a hell of a love song, folks? <laughs> Griffin Williams, share everybody. <laughs> Griffin Williams, share everybody. <laughs> it's Griffin Williams, share everybody. is also a love song. They're mostly love songs, I gotta tell you, like, really at the core of them. That's... Thank you! I try, you know. This one, actually, last time I was here, I, uh, I got one person to, to, to not be super stoked in the audience when I went on a diatribe about this, but uh, I wrote this song also for my fiance, but it was, uh, I wrote it the morning after uh, Roe v. Wade was overturned. And there was like a really heavy air in the house. And I didn't really know how to talk to her about it. So instead, I like, what I normally do when I don't know how to talk about things, I, I sat down on my desk and I wrote a song for her. 
Uh, and it's a song called We Will Fight. Later there'll be a song called I'm Sorry I Didn't Do the Dishes. <laughs> some older no songs now. I wasn't a fan all day, guys. It's really hard sometimes to talk English words, Dr. Shakaloop. I found myself, We're going to play you older songs. Hmm? I Sorry. found myself a couple of times, and I'm sure it won't be the last, in this show being like, oh, I shouldn't be in front of people right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's wild how many times that thought process and our daily like activities intersect. 
I was just like, I, I need to not see people for a while, but here I am in front of people with a thing that amplifies my voice. Yeah. Great. Who do we cool. think we Doing are? Doing my job. <laughs> This is an older song, that's what I meant to say, that's the thing. I'm terrified of beautiful women And I said, no, you my wild child Wild child, I love you Be my wild child Wild child, be mine If she loves you, you let her go And if you love her
that song. You might know the words of the next two songs too, so if you want to sing along, please, I'd love to hear your voices. Liquid death. Water. It is just water in a can, it's just, you know. this next song in the back of a Ford Transit <laughs> leaving the island of Key West after waking up on the beach staring at an iguana. It was a pretty wild experience. Pretty great wedding from what I remember. And it made this song happen in the back of a rolling vehicle that was driving 24 hours straight from Florida to Maine. <laughs> and I had just absolutely one of the worst hangovers of my entire life. 
The Hangover. It's a song called One of These Days. <laughs> I had no idea. Fans, everybody. I can stop if I want it. I can stop if I want it. I can't stop if I want it.
How good are these boys, huh? Strong men. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you boys. Strong men. I think we can call the boy. Oh. That's like what people in like World War II movies call each other. Okay, St. Louis, what have you said? <laughs> I am from Buxton, Maine. But yeah, you, you don't know it. No one will, unless you've watched Shawshank Redemption. That's where he hid the treasure. Uh, so this is where the treasure is hidden. <laughs> That's the only thing we have. That's the only claim to fame we have entirely in Buxton. I think they made some bricks there eventually, or at one time, but it was a nice, quiet little town in Maine that I grew up in, which is really great. Me and, me and Max Davis, the banjo player for Ghost of Paul Revere, we, we lived a, a mile down the street from each other, and our bass player, Sean McCarthy, lived uh, seven miles, and that was like, he was in a different town. We didn't really talk to him, but <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Still do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shawshank Redemption starring Tim Robbins, by the way. Right. Yes. That, We've been doing a new thing in the van, which is really, uh, we play a game uh, called the movie game, the film game, Curse introduced to us by Mr. Zach Benz here. And the whole thing is you go around the van and somebody has to name a movie, and the next person has to name an actor in that movie. And then the next person has to name a movie that actor was in. And it gets real cutthroat and real good, and I didn't realize I didn't know so many names of people who are in cinema. Mm. But it's still fun. I love that game. I'll, I'll play it forever. So uh, this is a love song about my house. Uh, <laughs> A strange thing to say. We're gonna get a little rock and roll for a couple songs, but uh, uh, I uh, during the pandemic I decided to get right out of Dodge and I bought 17 acres in the middle of nowhere and uh, that's where I live now and I love it to death. Uh, and I, I wrote this song about the road I live on, which uh, is uh, very peaceful and very great, and I love living there. Even though we just got two feet of snow, so it's okay. The last one of the season, first normal thing to happen all winter, so I'm I'm okay for it. It's a song called Stevens Town. There's a quiet road in a quiet town Not too many people ever coming around The rooster crows at the break of dawn Just the same as it's falling off As the sun goes down on Stephen's tail Well, my neighbor, he quiet time I can tell just by looking that he's worked his whole damn life get him to talk and it'll never stop about the country and about the crop and the sun goes down on Stephen's head oh well the sun goes down on Stephen's head
You guys okay to get weird for a second? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to get a little weird. Just a little bit, you know? Was getting her downtown all oh, the night before it's true did you hear he's a trouble you getting you stranger all the time what in the world should we do change no that ain't in the cards for me and you you've been dreaming of the limelight well tonight tonight take your shot
thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Griffin William Sherry. That's Mr. Spencer Alby over there on the keys and the guitar. Zach Benz on the guitar. Chuck Gagne on the drums. Mr. McCray Hathaway on the bass. I want to tell you two things before we play our last song. First one, my nephew is here tonight. He is four years old, and I just learned that we have the same favorite monster truck, which is dope. Which is? Which is Grave Digger, of course. What's the other one going to be? Yeah. Bigfoot. The best. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, Bigfoot. I'm old. Too. Uh, and the other thing is we have, we, we started talking about it. We've been, I've been playing music professionally now for, uh, oh, geez, a long time. <laughs> 11 years, and uh, uh, we're, we decided that we are going to start doing away with the encore, because, uh, yeah, it's fine. because everybody expects it, it's not a surprise anymore, sometimes for fun, we'll throw one in there, but we would like to play you our very last song tonight, and it's a song that you probably know, so I'd love you if you sang along, but this has been a joy to be here, thank you so much. Fear for the Theater Company for having us again. It's just so nice to bring the band here and have a show. And we love you guys for showing up tonight on this Saturday, even in all the weather. Uh, but we would, uh, we'd like to end the show now with a song called This Is The End. And uh, come say hi. I'm going to be at the, I'm going to run over to the merch table as soon as I run out back and get a little bit more whiskey in me. And uh, I will see you out there. In my room where the heat could kill a man and I was thinking about you thinking about me so I called up my doctor said don't give me a chance I dug his grave and I'm
Safe. I'll see you at the merch table.